Welcome to our tutorial for Bravia Signage Free. Today we're going to go step by step through how you can get the signage application set up and so you can start maximizing the benefits of your Bravia display. So let's get started with setting up for Bravia Signage Free. If your display is fresh out of the box, then simply go through the standard Android setup as usual. For displays previously used in other setups, we would strongly recommend starting with a factory reset. To do this, you can follow these simple steps. Go to the settings menu, find system, then about, and then reset. Select factory data reset from this menu, confirm, and then it will restart your Bravia. Then all you need to do is go through the standard setup process for Android and you'll be good to go. Before activating Bravia Signage Free, we do recommend one more action. For optimal performance of your signage, we suggest using the predefined one step settings and using the signage preset. After opening one step settings, you can select the vivid signage preset, which will do three things. It will firstly activate the standard picture mode, but at max brightness. It will enable IP control and it will disable some of the energy saving features. Once this has been configured, you're ready to start using Bravia Signage Free. Again, this is an optional step, but we do recommend it to maximize the screen's output for signage. So now you're ready to start using Bravia Signage Free. You can click on the app from the home screen. And firstly, you'll be asked to select what kind of storage you want to use, either USB flash drive or internal storage. And we would suggest to use internal storage at this point. Then a number of permission requests will pop up. Please select allow for all of these to ensure that the Bravia Signage Free application can work correctly. Next, you'll be prompted to insert a USB flash drive. The app will then prepare a folder on the USB called Media. You can remove it and then add whatever content you choose to this folder and then reinsert the USB into the display. The content you've selected and put into the Media folder will then be added to the internal storage of the display. Once your content has finished uploading to the internal storage, you're ready to start Pro Mode and begin using Bravia Signage Free. To start Pro Mode, you can use the simple sequence on the remote control, which is information, mute, volume up, home button. This four key sequence will initiate pro mode and Bravia Signage Free will start. Now that Bravia Signage Free is activated, you should see your content appear automatically on the display. The default playback mode from Bravia Signage Free is slideshow mode, and this will play back the content from your USB flash drive or the internal storage in alphabetical order without any further instructions. But if you want to change the playback mode, you can simply do this by accessing the Bravia Signage Free menu. To do this, all you need to do is hold down the number one button on your remote control for three seconds. Once you access the Bravia Signage Free user interface, you'll be greeted with a few different options for how you can tailor your content delivery. By default, the slideshow mode will play back the content sequentially in a loop. Presentation mode enables each piece of content in the playlist to be triggered by the press of the arrow keys on the remote control left and right skipping back and forth as you wish. To support a more seamless playback of your content, you can also add a transition effect up to five seconds in length between scenes. The duration option allows you to select just how long any static imagery within your content selection will appear on the screen. Lastly, you have the option of adding some scrolling text at the bottom of the screen. Whilst this is quite a simple solution, it does help you to elevate any sales message you might have and match it to support the content on screen. So that's a summary of the customization options you have for a slideshow mode. But we also want to have a look at creating a playlist. To do that, let's press the red button on our remote control to access the playlist settings. Once you access the playlist settings menu, at the bottom of the screen, you will see a legend referencing three buttons on your remote control. Red is to create a new playlist. Green is to delete a playlist. And the yellow button will allow you to preview your playlist. You can then go ahead and start creating your first playlist, naming it whatever you wish, and then you can select the content from the drop down list. This will be the content found on your USB flash drive or what has been already pre installed onto the internal storage. Then all you need to do is to go to play mode at the top of the screen, and from the drop down, rather than slideshow, select playlist, and then to the right of this, you select which playlist you've just created and press OK, and your content will start to play back. Once playlist creation is familiar, you can go on to create multiple playlists for various different use cases or scenarios. For example, in a practical use case of perhaps a small restaurant or cafe, you can create a playlist relevant to certain times of the day and tailor the content delivered to your customer or audience. This then leads into the next feature, which we want to discuss from Bravia Signage Free, and that is the ability to schedule your content. 
To start scheduling your content, when you're on the main menu, press the green button on your remote control and this will open up the schedule settings. Once this is open, you will once again see three buttons at the bottom of the screen in the legend. The red button is for new schedule creation, the green button is to delete a schedule you've created and the yellow button will lead you to the playlist settings. So let's press the red button on our remote control and we can start creating a content schedule for our hypothetical restaurant. In this case, they have three playlists which they'd like to use. One is a daytime menu, one is an evening menu and one is a separate weekend menu. So in this case, we want to have a weekly menu for our daytime and evening menus. So we can select here, day of the week and then select Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and then click OK. We can then select when we want that content to begin and when we want the content to end. And then when we select from the playlist, we can choose the daytime menu. Then we click on the plus button and this will drop down another row where we can do the subsequent menu with a beginning time and an end time and then select from the playlist drop down the evening menu. This then gives us a scheduling of Monday to Friday content for the daytime and content for the evening at the correct timings. Now that the playlists have been scheduled for Monday to Friday for this restaurant for the daytime and the evening menus, we can now set up the weekend schedule by clicking on new schedule by pressing the red button again. And then we can select the days as Saturday and Sunday. And then of course we can adjust the beginning and the end time of this content, setting it for the whole day. And then from the playlist drop down, we can select the weekend menu. If of course at any time we want to adjust or add a different playlist, you can simply press the yellow button on the remote control, access the playlist settings and, and you can edit from there. Once you're happy with the scheduling that you created, you can cl click OK and go back to the main menu. Then at the top of the menu, once again from the play mode, select schedule and then press OK. And then your scheduled content will play back as requested. If you wish to change the content you've got saved on the internal storage, exit the application and reopen it. When you're presented with the option to update content, select this and then you can go through the process of the USB update once again. And as a reminder, once content's playing back, if at any time you want to access the main menu once again, you simply have to hold down the number one button on your remote control for three seconds and you'll be able to access the main menu. Alternatively, if you want to completely exit the Bravia Signage Free application, then all you need to do is use that same button sequence we mentioned for accessing Pro Mode, and that is Info, Mute, Volume Up and Home on your remote control. And that will take you out of the Bravia Signage Free app. So if you want to find out more information about Bravia Signage Free or some of the other great features available on your Bravia displays, please visit the Knowledge Center.